What's up everybody, it's Jet Desert Fox, back with another straight out of the box. This is the video series in which I get a airsoft gun from a retailer or manufacturer, unbox it for the first time on camera, and give you my unbi unbiased, honest opinion, all while playing very subtle rap music. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Chris USA Limited Edition Alpine White Chris Vector SMG. All right, let's get into it. All right, on the outside of the box, we've got the Crytac logos. On the side, we've got a small picture of the gun itself. One nice thing about the Crytac boxes is they come with this carry handle. So if you don't have a gun bag yet, you can always just use the box that the gun came in to take your gun to and from the airsoft field. Inside, we have a certificate of authenticity, manual, get into that in a little bit. Then we have the gun itself, which is protected in all of this foam. All right, inside the box itself, we have an extension for the pistol grip. Little bitty vector magazine, oh, how cute. It's a mid cap. We've got the standard size mid cap magazine. We've got a T-plug to Tamiya adapter, de-jamming rod, got our front sight post, rear peephole sight and finally we've got the gun itself in alpine white the gun comes well protected and all this foam see how thick that is wow very nice finish on this gun very nice uh i'm not sure if i even want to play with this thing i want to keep it in pristine condition it just looks so good in terms of it being white, not really practical for me since I live in the desert. So unless it snows up here, which it does occasionally, I might have to find an excuse to don some snow camo and play in the snow with this thing. Ooh, man, looks so good. All right, starting from the front to the rear, we've got our federally mandated orange tip. Now, unlike the other Chris Vectors, this one comes with this handguard with Picatinny rails. I actually like this feature a lot. It gives you more of an area to hang on to the gun. On the other standard vectors, the you know the gun kind of stops right here, and there's not much to hang on to, especially if you have kind of larger hands. Usually, I see everyone hanging on to the magazine well slot down here, or adding like a vertical grip. But even adding a vertical grip to just a normal vector, the space is kind of limited. So this handguard gives a lot more space for you to hang on to. It feels much more ergonomic. We've got our charging handle here, which when we flip that up, it should reveal our hop-up, and it does. The hop-up is a rotary-style hop-up, which is the preferred hop-up for me and most other airsoft players. Okay, moving down the gun some more, we've got our selector switch, which is ambidextrous and three modes of fire. We've got single, burst, and full auto. Further down, we have the safety, also ambidextrous. Got our trigger, it's a flat trigger. This trigger squeeze feels a lot different from the from the other vectors. Hmm. Curious, curious, curious. Toward the rear of the gun, unlike other vectors that have just the fold over stock that cannot change position or does not telescope, we have a buffer tube with a telescoping stock. I don't really have any other information about the stock, but it does have QD sling attachment points on the rear, which is nice. The rubber on the butt plate is very, very nice. Not like some butt stocks that you get, like it's like a fake rubber and then you like feel it and it's plastic. I hate, I hate that. Normally the battery goes here in the pistol grip. Let's see if that's, that is where it goes. And it is. And the connector is a T-plug. I really feel like Airsoft as a whole should just switch over to the T-plugs. It just makes more sense, quite honestly, rather than having large Tamiya and small Tamiya. So it's awesome that Crytac is doing that. All right, so we've got our standard battery compartment door, I'll call it. And then with the limited edition, they also include this extended one. So you get the standard, if you got a battery that that can fit just in this pistol grip and let's say you need a little bit more space they do include the extension and this extension will work on other crytax as well so if you have multiple vectors um, you can get some nice pieces from this one in case you know maybe you want to 
customize it more or use your black vector for regular games and then maybe your white vector for snow only. Down here we've got where the mediated recoil system would be if this was an actual firearm or the gas blowback version. The magazines go down in here. And let's take a look at how the magazines look. You get two magazines with the Alpine. You get this stubby one, goes in just like that. I'm not a fan of the small one. Uh, apparently there are a lot of people that are, so it's whatever. <laughs> it seems like it holds maybe like 60 BBs or so, maybe a little bit more. But if you do want a kind of sleeker look for your vector, you can use that, you can use that smaller mag. And if you're a fan of the traditional vector look, you also have the longer standard magazine. Very nice looking. Oh yeah, that handguard, so nice. Internally, we've got an eight millimeter gearbox with a Crytac FET system and electronic trigger. We've got a quick change spring, temperature and wear resistant bucking, Ooh, nice. And we've got a Crytac 300K Neo Dyni Dy Dyminium Magnet High Torque Short Motor. And all that information comes from the evic.com website. Let's shoot this thing. So I was anticipating this gun to uh, be wired to Tamiya, so I grabbed a Titan Power Lithium Ion 11.1 .1 battery with a Tamiya plug. Thankfully, they include the adapter. I do have T-plug batteries. Let's use this for now so I don't have to get up and get a new battery. Whoop. Point this in a safe direction, and for shot, dry fire. That is a lot snappier and better feeling than the standard, or the, the older vectors. I definitely can feel a difference. Burst fire. It's about a two round burst. Burst is really snappy. I definitely will be shooting this on burst fire when I get a chance. All right, full auto with an 11.1 .1 lithium ion battery. Nice, nice. Not as fast, but fast enough. Yeah, that, the trigger on burst fire feels really good. It's very snappy. <laughs> I so still got the notch here uh, for the foldover stock. I feel like I should be wearing gloves when I handle this, just because I don't want to get the white too dirty, but I think that's gonna, just going to be eventual. It's going to get dirty. I'm pretty impressed with this dry fire. Let's take it outside, chrono it, and shoot at some targets. I'm using Elite Force 0.25 gram BBs with the Titan Power Lithium Ion 11.1. First shot through the chrono. 315.8 at 1.1 joules. 12, 310, 314, good consistency. 313, 312, 314, 312, 309, kind of a big dip right there. 315, all right, we're coming back up to where we were. 311, uh, 318. 312, 311, last shot, 313. All right, pretty consistent FPS with the Alpine Vector. All right, let's nail some targets. Single fire. This is hop up adjusted. There we go, I've had to put some rocks on these uh, smaller targets. It's a little windy today. Yeah. All right, let's try burst fire on these last two. Nice. Yeah, burst fire is awesome. All right, let's burst into these man-sized targets. Cool. All right, let's finish the magazine off with full auto. Go 
for a little bit of distance now. Magazine change. Continue our full auto rampage. So the reason I adjusted the hop-up is because I wanted to make sure that the hop-up was actually working on this gun. And it is, so. We've got some good grouping with the full auto and the burst. Plenty of stopping power, if you will, with the targets that have rocks on them because of the wind. Very good, consistent shooting from the Alpine white vector. Final thoughts on the limited edition Alpine white Chris Vector SMG. I'll say if you're a huge fan of the Chris Vector, this limited edition is definitely a must for your collection. Aesthetically and ergonomically, the gun looks great and feels great. Uh, as I stated previous, the addition of this extended rail is so nice. It's so nice. It, it gives to me, it gives more balance to the gun. The telescoping full, full stock is also nice. It feels a lot more comfortable when, you, when it's shouldered as opposed to the other just kind of skeletonized stock. However, that stock itself gives the Chris Vector a unique look. So it's kind of a give and take. But I will say that this setup, in particular with these two items, makes this a little bit more comfortable to shoot, in my opinion. The performance of the gun is good. Now internally, the vector is pretty much the same as the other vectors that are out there. If you're looking for a vector and you know you don't care about this other stuff and the limited edition Alpine white color and whatnot, you can go get one of those. However, if you are a true collector of vectors and airsoft guns in itself, this particular vector is probably a number one on the collection list. That's definitely what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably trick this out, maybe play with it once or twice, and then it's going on the wall with the rest of my collection. Uh, another thing that I really like about this whole package is the other things that come with the gun, like the smaller stubby mag. Personally, I don't really care for this, but there is a large market of people who do dig this type of magazine and only want to use this one. The other nice thing that's included is the battery extension. I'm going to slap this on my other vector, my black one that, I'm, that I use a little bit more and get a little bit more battery space out of it. So it's nice that this is included. And actually I might probably take this handguard off and add it to another vector as well. So essentially you could kind of part this stuff out and put it on other vectors as, as you want or as, as needed. One thing that I forgot to mention is it does come with this hand stop here and this can be, you can move the position of this hand stop to fit your tiny hands or big hands, whatever hand size you have. Great thing about the Vector is this really long monolithic rail at the, on the top of the gun. Plenty of rail space for, I mean, you could have like six optics on this thing if you really wanted to. Overall, this is a fantastic collector's item. The gun just looks great. In terms of practicality on the field, if you aren't playing in snow, this is gonna get dirty really quick. Probably the downside to the white. Now, if you're looking for something to actually field and you don't wanna worry about it getting dirty, there are plenty of other vector options out there. That's gonna wrap up this straight out of the box. As always, this is Jet Desert Fox, and I'll see you on the field.